I'm Rodrigo and welcome to All in 5 Minutes. Hello Beatriz and thank you to PV Magazine for this kind invitation. It's a pleasure to be with you to share a little bit more about Brazil. Rodrigo, Brazil started the year with an impressive milestone, 24 gigawatts of installed solar capacity. What can we expect for the rest of the year? So we expect in 2023, it will probably be the best year of solar so far uh, that we have ever seen. We expect to reach 34 gigawatts by the end of this year. So this means an additional 10.1 gigawatts of installed capacity in a single year. This would represent uh, roughly 50 billion reais in new investments, uh, close to $10 billion in new investments in a single year in the market and in the country, and could bring roughly 300,000 new jobs in the solar sector in Brazil. And once again, we expect that uh, distributed generation, small-scale projects will be leading the way with roughly... Uh, 5.6 gigawatts of total added capacity, 5.5 uh, to 5.6 gigawatts of total added capacity. But we also have a growing contribution of large-scale solar power plants with 4.6 gigawatts of total installed capacity uh, coming online in 2023. So this almost mean 50-50 uh, for both markets, a slight advantage of small-scale projects, but many opportunities for the sector and the market to grow further in Brazil. Brazil's new government, led by re-elected President Lula da Silva, took office at the beginning of the year. How would you interpret the new government's support or lack thereof for solar PV? Well, we have already seen very important um, uh, positionings from the president even before he was brought into office. So in the end of 2022, he went to COP27 to uh, basically bring the message that Brazil is back into the fight against climate change. And he knows that renewable energy is one of Brazil's strong suit when talking about what we have been doing uh, to protect the climate. Currently, Brazilian electricity grid already has about 84% uh, of renewable uh, energy. So this is a very positive number and way above the international average. Uh, yet, there is definitely room for more as Brazil has one of the best solar, wind, biomass and hydro resources in the world. And uh, it, interesting to say, uh, now, solar power is already the second largest electricity source in Brazil. We have surpassed wind power, which was the second and now is the third. And uh, the number one electricity source is hydro. Uh, so the three main electricity sources in the country are already renewable. Uh, yet, Brazil still don't has uh, established um, a long-term goal to reach 100% clean electricity mix, such as the United States already did for 2035, or Germany also did for 2035. So this is one of the topics that AB Solar is working with the new government to try to establish a new goal, a long-term goal, to bring this, uh, um, this let's say, uh, this uh, clearness to the market, to the private sector, that they can invest in Brazil because Brazil has a target for renewable electricity, a long-term target. What are the prospects for storage and green hydrogen in Brazil? Solar has been working with energy storage development of this technology and this market in the, in the country since 2019. And last year, we have also established a new task force focused on uh, green hydrogen because we believe that both technologies have a lot of opportunity for development in the country. Uh, in the energy storage segment, we have been working on how to uh, structure a positive um, um, environment in terms of public policies, in terms of taxation, and in terms of access to financing to help the market grow. And this is what we intend to do also with uh, green hydrogen, and uh, once again, we see positive opportunities from the new government elected 
and also state governments are already moving forward to establishing MOUs with companies to bring investments in green hydrogen, for example, to the region. Uh, so Brazil is expected to have one of the lowest green hydrogen production costs uh, in the world. Thank you for your five minutes. It's a pleasure, Beatriz, and count on AB Solar support for helping solar PV grow in Brazil. Thank you.